So, here we have the parts to our new swing playset, which is not new. And actually, if we believe the date on here, this was built in 1993, making it 27 years old. And while it's mostly sound, there are some parts that we want to replace. And uh, over there, we've got the wood, which we're going to use to replace it. But there's still a few things we gotta do. All right, well, it's the next day, and uh, we've got our stand set up over there. And we're gonna get our saw out of the box here. So it shouldn't be too hard to connect up. Uh, it's already got a, uh, you know, a blade attached to it. So we'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Okay, opening this up, there's a bunch of parts I don't exactly know where they go. So maybe the first thing we do is gonna be to read the instructions. <laughs> All right, so I found the instruction booklet, which is great. But I like this notice too. We can help. It's a good, it's a good liability thing, but there she is. Uh, she looks beautiful. Uh, it's a 12 inch uh, dual bevel compound sliding miter saw. Hopefully it'll do what we want it to do. This should be good. And here it all is. From the stand with the extra roller to the saw. Little clamp down thingy. And this one's actually got a little height adjustment unit on it. So I can lock it down at a certain height so it doesn't go all the way through the wood, which is gonna be important later. Or I can turn that off and go all the way down, slide, and uh, yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so basically this whole assembly needs to get replaced. And the first parts we're gonna cut are these four bolts here. Oops. The reason we're replacing them is because a bunch of the ends are completely rotted out. So, yeah. All right, so I've made the first mark. I got everything plugged in. We're gonna make the first cut. Don't know if you can tell what I'm saying under this mask and everything. Supposedly this green wood uh, can release dust particles that you really shouldn't breathe. So yeah, Let's see how it goes. And we have a nice clean cut that is just the right length. This is actually the second cut. Uh, first one's already over there. Well, I tested it over there, so it's it's the right size, so yay! All right, so I've made some progress. I've got the 10 floorboards uh, cut, and now there's the deck sides, and also the, um, I guess you'd almost call them tack boards for the floorboards uh, that have to be cut. Those are 22 and an eighth inch long each. And whereas they were originally four inch decking, um, I'm just using two by fours because they didn't seem to have any four inch decking where I was. And two by fours are bigger anyway, so that's, you know, why not make it beefier? All right, so now I've cut all the tack boards and uh, stuff for the railings. And you might be wondering, hey, why'd you get a miter saw? You don't need a miter saw to do that. Heck, you could have done that with a circular saw or even a hand saw. And the answer is, now I have to duplicate these pieces. So we had our four by four here, and we cut it to the right length using the old pattern. Um, and these ones, you know, this one's got a little bit of damage on the end, and this one is missing its screw hole. So uh, this one absolutely had to be replaced. And you'll notice that they're actually a little different. They're the same length, but the configuration of how the, the miters are cut and how the notching is, is actually, um, well, it's, it's uh, complementary. So uh, we gotta make sure we don't get these two confused and we gotta cut them to uh, both to the right angles at the right locations. Like this one, you see there's actually a flat spot at the end and then it angles, it looks like a 45 degree, go ahead and measure it. And then, uh, yeah, go ahead and try to notch that after we, we cut these, these miter sections. And so, yeah, putting the old piece on there, it looks like that's right at 45 degrees. And the blade comes down against that nice and smoothly. So we're just going to assume that's a 45 degree cut there. Just why would it be a little off? So we just got to measure 
this part here, um, that part there looks like about an inch, but we'll measure it. And then mark it off on the block and go ahead and, and cut for this specific piece. All right, and now I did have to adjust the slide just a little bit because that one little part right there didn't cut, cut through. And this is a 12 inch blade. But uh, yeah, that's what the slide's for. And, and we were able to get that nice, clean and smooth. And uh, as you, you'll see my first line there wasn't quite lined up. I had the second line, so you know, measure, measure twice, cut once. So I did that. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. All right, now fortunately this thing, these things are symmetrical, or close to symmetrical, sort of, in your images. And so I just laid the piece down on its other side and cut the other side. So I was like, go the other way now. And now comes the fun part. And what I did, I laid these pieces next to each other. And I said, okay, how far from the end does the uh, notch start? So I got that marked on this side. And I got that marked on this side. And I think I did that right. Because now... If I flip it like this, well, okay, I did it right, except for the fact that this this has to be cut on this side, and this one has to be cut on this side. So I got to figure out how to get those those marks on the right side there. Okay, I figured out how to get the marks on the right sides. So this one got to bevel a notch this way, and this other one over here notches this way. So let's start with uh, well, we've already got the saw set up this way. So let's start. Let's see if I can actually cut it. Well, yeah. I kind of want the back against. Yeah, I definitely want the back against it. So, alrighty. All right, so the next step of this is critical, and it's one of the reasons why I really like this saw, and I was happy with it. Uh, and obviously the power is disconnected, but I want to set the height break at about half of what the height is there. So first thing I do is pull that out, and then I need to loosen this screw here, and then tighten this screw. So I loosen the nut, tighten the screw. I need to loosen the slide as well, which is back over here. Just a little bit. And that slides. Now when it comes down, what height do we get? Okay, that, that's probably a little too high. So you want it down halfway. Halfway. So we'll get it. that out so yeah I'll adjust that and we'll get it to the right height all right so I made a line and as you can see now the bottom of the saw lines up perfectly with halfway through so we can notch this board however you also notice that the bottom of its teeth don't get the back of the piece there so what we're gonna have to do is uh, put a little bit of a jig another piece back there and uh, make sure everything's clamped down so that uh, yeah nothing flies away while we're cutting Ah, I've discovered the reason for this, this little section of flat section right here. If you orient it the right way and you have your sliding saw, it goes all the way back. And actually that, yeah, no, that's, that's not right. Maybe, maybe just a little higher there. Yep, so no jig needed. Okay, we got our first piece notched on both sides and now I'm going to go ahead and take this wood chisel and start scraping away at what's left. And that'll take a little while, but hey, that's what we gotta do. All right, and after a little bit of chiseling away, that's what we got on one side, and that's what we got on the other. So, sand that down, and uh, we'll have our notched piece. Time to make the other one. Well, we are all done now, and we've got all of our wood finished cut. So 
So we still got to drill some holes. Uh, I've got my notch pieces all ready, and they match the originals. All we got to do now is clean this thing up and uh, call it a day. And so for that, we actually got an old uh, ice scraper for a car. I'm using the brush to just brush stuff off. Obviously, a vacuum would be better, but uh, yeah, I don't have that available at the moment. So I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed that. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll be working on this again soon, uh, and I'll uh, talk to you next time. <laughs>